two churches here as I walk up without this road to the Monk's Bunk Hostel. Don't know what these churches are or why there should be two of them together. You can see from the double bars, actually triple bars, on the uh, crosses that these are the, I believe, Eastern Orthodox Christian Church. Somehow they've managed not to have to sell off all of their land on the assumption they own this, unless it's owned by the government and it's a park, which looks to be the case over there. Nice large park, balanced maintenance in the sense that over there with the statue is, it's very pretty floral arrangements. The balance is kind of left pretty rough, but places for people to sit in the shade, which is good and to roam these walkways which are in good condition. So it's a nice park. Now the irony is the cross here looks like the normal Christian cross. Catholic I suppose you'd call it in this country. Looks like another church over there so we'll cut right straight across the park. This I believe is a mosque as indicated by that half moon icon on top of the dome and on top of the uh, minaret. This city is known for Art Deco, and I don't know if this building reflects that. The kind of curve around the balcony area. Some church park art, which I assume that levitated pose implies Jesus rising up to heaven. We're in front of such a place. This is one monumental structure. Don't know on which of these four sides is the main entrance. That looks fresh. My guess is my hostel is down there. Arcade of trees is pretty, isn't it? I think this road, in spite of that barricade, runs right into the heart of Kauna, but a fair distance away, I think. Nice piece of modern architectural facade for what is probably an older plain building next to an older building. Looks like the Modernization is continuing beyond us. Danielis Toskis, perchance an orator or an actor, I'm guessing. Hopefully they'll preserve some of this older architecture, not let it be replaced by the modern, which will be hackneyed in a few decades. A few blocks the south of my street in my hostel is this overpass and river bridge and it looks like a walking path to the right but someday to be a bike path along the river this is a notable 1940s interwar art deco theater the last theater during the interwar period that was built. Not looking terribly impressive right now. It'll be interesting to see the inside. It's the only one still functioning. I think these are chestnuts and chestnut blossoms. Pretty, aren't they? You wonder what conjures up the red and the yellow flower. Probably Art Deco. Nothing spectacular. This is called Klinkai or something like that. 
and it's a dumpling that contains a bunch of vegetables and so forth. You get it with different things inside of it, so we'll experiment. It's interesting to wonder what the purpose of this is, although around town and on the city map are sites of notable graffitis. One of the churches we pass on the way to Kudainai. I'm in the small town of Kadainai, about 51 miles north, roughly, from Kaunas. It's a small town of about 30,000, and it's supposed to have an old town that's quite unique, quite old, relatively speaking, not tourist infested, and it should be generally over there. And I figured instead of walking down the road, I'll take this pathway, which looks interesting, and like it's going to ultimately go in the same direction. But here we get a little taste of how some of the local folks live. The only thing about rural towns is people have their own little gardens oftentimes. Probably not because they need to, but because they like to. It's convenient. It's part of the culture. As so often is the case, I might have shot myself in the foot. Here we go across the river. I don't think I want to go that way. I think I want to be right about over in there. So just for kicks, I'll wander down this dirt path and see what trouble I can get into there. Don't know what this double pipe is that's running considerable length that way and to my right. And you can't see the other pipe, but at the bridge embankment there, one of the pipes was wide open. So I don't know what's used to transport in here except hot air or something like that maybe. It kind of looks curious because it looks like a lot of stuff on the surface. Slow moving, saw a fish jump so things live in it. I'm not sure if that's pollution. I don't know what it is. It could be soap sets for all I know. Here, a high percentage of this population lives in this kind of housing. It looks like some kind of dam over there and I think that's creating the uh, turbulence in the water generating our surface bubbles or material that we're seeing. Yeah, this looks like some control dam. A good fishing hole apparently. There's that bridge that I didn't cross over. And a few tourists come here, even fewer see this. 1939 to 1989. <clears throat> the newer plaque, 1944 to 54, which would represent probably the uh, USSR domination. The Nazis, I think, were out of here by 1944 by the Soviets. Pretty old home with a little kids play swing, I guess it is. Lovely garden. Interesting bush, those flowers there, in this pretty old house. Notice the treatment in the front entryway. Hawk making lazy circles in the sky. Has particularly long wings. I expect we're about ready to drop right into the middle of the old town. And they're a poignant mix of technology and old home. A lovely old house. Beautifully maintained gardens with its own little greenhouse over there. My right appears to be the main square. That may be an early industrial 